These were the scenes that unfolded last evening in the sub-counties of Mutua, Bushihi, Boneboshe and Bimurumba following the heavy rains in Budura district. The entire area from the highlands to the lowlands was covered in white hailstones leaving many residents fascinated despite the havoc the rains caused. Mm. All the crops and the plantations have been devastated by the hailstones. We have coffee, coffee berries are on the ground. All the horticultural crops, and particularly a heavy big loss on the part of nuts. This hill has now left thousands of locals stranded because they can't find their way down. The mudslides blocked all the access roads in the area, and the district leaders are now calling for a speedy evacuation process. I'm talking of 1,800 households, and these are so many because an average of 10 people are in each household. So you expect that 10, an average of 10, times 1,800, that is 18,000 persons trapped. There are also reports of missing persons, though the exact number has not yet been established. Especially the elderly, the PWDs, the children, and the vulnerable women particularly. The destruction though was not limited to just houses, but to crops as well. The district leaders placed the blame on the Ministry of Relief and Disaster Preparedness for a delayed response to the disaster. What ought to be done and the most urgently is emergency operation of rescue teams with rescue equipment. Because here you cannot say you are disaster prepared and you take a full week to respond to this emergency. Disasters of such magnitude are not new in Bududa district. In 2010, a massive mudslide struck the area, killing over 300 people.